Hello guys, good day for today. Our tutorial is the installation of the CSF firewall on our PC dial server using the uh, CentOS 7. So I'm using CentOS server. So I will install the CSF on my CentOS. So check. So this one. So CentOS. So you need to go to your uh, root. So first, you need to install the dependencies of the CSF firewall. So this is the dependencies. So the for W times and when utils. So we're gonna install this. Okay. So we're gonna clear. Okay, that's okay. Then after that. Uh, you need to go to CD or you can if you want where you want to put the downloaded file so me I want to put on directory src user I change the directory from root directory to CD user src then I just and I will download using wget then the download the file for the CSF I'm gonna clear and then you need to change the director again to your CSF or oh, we need to uh, extract it first then CSF dot TC ok and then CSF ok so that's all the files under the CSF folder and then we're gonna proceed for the installation so sh then the install then sh then press enter okay so uh, installation is complete okay and then after that uh, we're going to make a test if our installation so we need to change directory again to user local then csf last bin and then you need to type per csf test.pl then enter okay so if you see if you notice so all the required is okay so we have successfully installed our CSF firewall okay so if I check here so it's installed but not yet activated so we will we need to because right now it's still open my fort <coughs> my uh, my SQL fort uh, this is not good to your server we need to secure it so that uh, we are on safe so that our server will not be compromised by others so from here you need to uh, system system control so we're gonna stop the firewall D and disable it for startup okay and then after that you need to go to the CSF configuration file uh, so my editor is nano so nano then h csf csf that configuration and then from here you need to enable so just put on zero so that our CSF part will, will be enabled then control zero to save then enter then control X to exit okay so after that we need to ready to start our CSF firewall so I'm gonna I'm going to change here start CSF 
and also the LFD and then you need also to enable on startup key and then the LFG okay so let me check the default rules so or the default allowed port okay that's all so let's check if our firewall is working <coughs> if you see now the port is closed you are safe now so no one can access or try to access your database if I if I or if I stop my firewall service csf is stop let's check if it's open our port okay so we can start again and then check Okay, so our CSF firewall is working. So, <coughs> so if you see here, if I check port 80, it's open. Port port 3, it's open. So, if you want to close that, you need to go to nano h again then csf.csf.com again so from here you need to find the tcp and utp <coughs> so if you want to remove the 480 so and then save then csf you need to reload the server so let's check the 480 it's open so now it will be closed okay <coughs> okay so that's the work of our firewall so you can block any fort so that nobody can access your server but uh, you need to allow your own IP address you need to go to nano csf then csf that allow <coughs> so from here you can add your specific IP address you want to allow to access your server outside okay so from me this is my ip <coughs> so if i then save <coughs> and then i will if i remove uh, the port port 3 also here and then save and then restart your or reload the firewall so let me check is close port port 3 <coughs> it's already closed now but here I am still able to access my page okay so so I'm able to access my server setting <coughs> okay so I'm able to access my BC dial server so now uh, our next step again is to enable the web UI so for that you need to install some 
dependencies again some uh, <coughs> required module so this is the required module you need to install okay I think it's already installed on my end <coughs> and then to enable the web view the UI you need to go to CSF config again Okay, and then look for the where uh, UI. Okay. <coughs> okay. So this one to enable it, you need to change to <coughs> one, and then for the port, you can change any port you want to like to put. So me. I choose 808810 and from your username so I will choose here the bg13 and for the password you need to also set your unique password <coughs> and then control 0 to save exit and then you need to allow your IP on the UI so UI that allow so you need to put your IP address uh, you want uh, you want to able to access the CSF web UI then control 0 and then <coughs> reload the server okay also you can you can foot because if you want to allow it to all so again you can add the port here okay so you can add the port here so you can add the 8010 if you want to but only allow IP address you put on the UI allow will uh, have an access so let's check so HTTPS to access it ok and then port 8010 ok let's see we are able to <coughs> so we need to service CSF restart and then service LFD restart ok and then can uh, and then we gonna make a test again HTTPS and then the port is 8010 our power port okay so it's working so type the username you created on so we have successfully set up our web UI firewall so from here you can simply add allow IP and ban some IP address <coughs> so from here we have one allow one IP ok ok so Info okay, so you 
can click allow the IP so if you want to go to configuration so this is so if you see or are simply okay <coughs> you can enable and disable okay so this is will be our allow IP or allow port so you can add for example on BC dial you can add the port 56C or the other ports <coughs> okay then just save on the bottom click the change okay so uh, this is now for the tutorial for now how to install the CSF firewall on your uh, server machine so and with your web UI so thank you guys again for watching my video and don't forget to make like share and subscribe also enable the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest video uploaded thank you guys and have a great day bye bye